crafted under pressure, recorded in a rush, and featuring a session guitarist not affiliated with the band, this is the intriguing backstory of the Monkees' iconic track, Valerie. Penned by the dynamic duo, Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart, known for their repertoire including hits like Last Train to Clarksville. I Want to Be Free, and, theme from, The Monkees, the genesis of Valerie is a tale worth exploring. Under the Gun The genesis of Valerie began with a morning call from Monkees music supervisor Don Kirshner to Boyce, urging for a single with a girl's name. In a stroke of spontaneity, Boyce fibbed about having a song ready for Davy Jones. With a tight deadline looming, Boyce and Hart huddled, conjuring memories of adolescent heartache, and thus birthed the titular character, Valerie. Armed with a catchy riff and a name, they presented their scant creation to Kirshner, who, to their astonishment, greenlit the song for recording, albeit with incomplete verses. Recorded in August 1966, Valerie saw the light of day with session musicians laying down the track and Jones lending his vocals. Initially slated for the Monkees' second album, Tensions Brewed, leading to a fallout between Kirshner and the band. This discord prompted a re-recording of the song in December 1967, following its accidental airing by Illinois disc jockeys. Despite losing out on production credits, Boyce and Hart re-entered the studio, adding horns at the behest of Screen Gems Columbia Music President Lester Sill. Louis Shelton, the session guitarist responsible for the electrifying riffs on Valerie, brought an unexpected flamenco flair to the track, a playful experiment that earned accolades from the production team. His impromptu performance solidified the song's distinctive sound, leaving an indelible mark on the monkey's repertoire. Released as a single in February 1968, Valerie ascended to number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100, marking the monkey's final top 10 hit. Despite the tumultuous backdrop of their waning television presence, the song endured, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of pop music history. Revisiting the original The initial version of Valerie resurfaced from bootleg recordings, eventually finding its rightful place in Monkey's lore with a proper release in 1990. This rediscovery offered fans a glimpse into the song's evolution, enriching its narrative within the band's expansive catalog. Legacy Beyond the Monkeys Beyond their collaborative endeavors, Boyce and Hart found success as performers in their own right, later joining forces with Jones and Dolans under the moniker Dolans, Jones, Boyce, and Hart, carving out a distinctive musical path beyond the monkey's illustrious legacy. The saga behind Valerie encapsulates the creative ingenuity and collaborative spirit that defined the monkey's musical journey, immortalizing a fleeting moment in the annals of pop culture history. 